the name Buffalo Springfield, Van Dyke Park said he was the one that saw it and came up with the idea of using it. Who did? Van Dyke Parks. <laughs> In his dreams, I thought up that name. They were fixing the street in front of the house on, on, uh, on, uh, um, on, what is it, not Formosa? No, not Formosa, a fountain. They were fixing Fountain Avenue. And they had all this dirt bringing equipment out in front of Barry Friedman's house, which is where we were all crashing. I saw the sign. I went in and I told Dewey. I said, your name is on that sign, on that road leveler. It had that word buffalo. Had a machismo, which I thought was an and a and a, and a, uh, a tendency of the chaotic old west. We were coming back and walking across the street, and Richie from Wow, that's that's really cool. And we all just it was a collective kind of wow because we had been fighting the name game for about a month. Because they were arguing about the name. Well, why? Because it was totally American. Uh, which, and, and, but that did a couple of things. Actually, what it did, that's a very important uh, aspect of it. It did something that was particularly American in a sea of, uh, you know, the, the British invasion. I mean, that's a story that I can hear about, like, you know, it's on television. Well, no, I saw it. I made it up, you know. I think that they're either, they're either liars or they're embarrassed that they have no retention and are trying to fabricate something, a lie which is self-serving, or they're delusional. All these things could be the case. Yeah. <laughs> because I tell you something, I take such great delight in admitting when I don't know something. Now, it took me some time to learn how to say I don't know. But I don't think that it is a proclivity for self-proclaimed rock stars or, uh, you know, uh, past point ingenues. It's not a talent that they, that they possess. Mm -hmm. It took me a long time to say I don't know. I had to learn that. I had to learn what was important. I made up those names. So you were around that. It's a trivial point. Yeah. yeah. It's not that trivial. These are important bands. They're part of our, our culture. It's not an open heart surgery. <laughs> it changed rock history. What well, it did. Worth. And I think that worth. I think I I think for what it's worth. But I think they would have changed all of those. Uh, would have changed uh, uh, the uh, Buffalo Springfield and uh, and Three Dog Night. They would have had successful careers, no matter what they were called. They are so so abundantly filled, brimming with talent. Buffalo Springfield and it just sounded like Richie and Neil Buffalo, you know, <laughs> it was all of that.